Every Friday in August is a night filled with free music and dancing on the Monona Terrace rooftop thanks to Dane Dances. With just a couple Fridays left to join in on the fun, we're going to give you a preview of what to expect. This is Al Cooper of Dane Dances. Thanks for being here. Thank you, Jessica. So much fun. Boy, Dane Dances is such a joyous event for folks of all ages. For people who haven't been yet, give them an overview. Well, Dane Dances uh, put on dance concerts uh, every Friday night in August to try to bring the community together to help improve race relations. Yeah, and you do such a great job of making it such a fun event. It feels very, very inclusive. What can somebody expect to experience if they've never been? Well, they're going to experience a great time. Uh, this Friday, the 23rd, we have two bands, uh, Orchestra, uh, Sal Soul, as well as we have Eddie Butts, who's been a longtime favorite of Dane Dances over the years. They haven't been here in a while, so I know people have been begging for them to come. So they're here. All right. You've got a lot to remember. Lots of things, lots of coordinating bands, events, DJs, food, so much to do. Now, one of the things that I think is so impressive about the event is that it's free. How yeah. do you do that? It's free because we have great uh, support from the community, starting with volunteers and, and the uh, substantial sub financial support from our sponsors and our grant uh, foundations as well as individual donations at the event and we're able to keep it free because we have great community support. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, also, it's so nice that you have volunteers that are there greeting people as they walk in to just add to that inclusive feeling. So this is, as we say, a family-friendly event, but you can come by yourself, meet people there, and just enjoy a, a really nice community event. Let's talk a little bit about the food and drinks and how that works for people. We have a full-service cash bar, but we also have uh, ethnic food vendors which from um, Venezuelan type food, Cambodian, as well as down home Southern cooking. And we have Lake Vista Cafe uh, from Monona Terrace Catering as well. Really good food, lots to eat, lots to check out. Okay, for viewers who are watching, who might wanna be able to help you keep this event for free, well, how can people get involved? They can get involved by volunteering to be a greeter, or they can uh, make donations online to uh, danedances.org as well as sign up as volunteers on the website and just click the volunteer link and there's a sign up page. Perfect. And or a business owner watching that might want to sponsor. I know you are so appreciative of sponsors. We are and there's a sponsorship packet online as well on the website or they can contact uh, me which is the number that's on there and I would follow up with them. Yeah, a great way to get in front of the community and, and be a part of it, a wonderful event. And let's close on that note. So the fact that this community has been so supportive of this effort really says a lot. Yes, it does. And, uh, and it really speaks volumes of what Madison is all about. Yeah, it sure does. And you've been doing this for 20 years. We're celebrating the 20 year anniversary and We'll close out the season with a variety of acts, uh, some of the Madison favorites uh, from the past. Really great. Well, lots of fun. So Dane Dances is every single Friday in August. You can catch them on the Monona Terrace rooftop on the 23rd and 30th. Great dancing, concerts, friends, totally free for the whole family. Thank you so much for sharing. Thank you, Jessica. And congrats on right. 20 years of success. Thank you. I want to thank all of our guests for joining us today. Of course, we thank you for watching. I'm Jessa Jeremiah. We'll see you next time on Talk Wisconsin.